So I arrived at Wellsworth to drop off my trucks. The second I shunt them, Thomas and Percy start laying into me. Among other things, they said that we were a pack of lazy gits who wouldn't know what hard work was if it rolled up and bumped us in the bunker. Kept on saying if we were proper engines, we wouldn't need their help to begin with. I reminded them that the only reason why we needed their help was that their boys at Knapford were the ones that went on strike. After that, they belted right up. Nice to meet you. Uh, no thank you, Thomas. How rude. Thank you. I will. Do you mind? These are mine. Go away. Stop! You're making me giddy! Are there two of you? I might have known it. Never mind. Call me Boko. I'm sorry I didn't understand about the cars. <laughs> Maddening is the word. Whew. Hi, guys. No, I'm fine, Peter. Just a bit tired. They needed my help to fill in a large order of china clay that need to go out today. And it was a very large order. He has? Why? Ouch! Take it easy, Diesel. It's not my fault I was held up. All right, all right, listen, you two, I, uh, I got a job for you, Splodge. I ain't got time to say both names. I've come back to find a steam engine. Not the one I want. She escaped me once before. As long as she exists, so do the others. But if she could be destroyed... Yeah, destroyed. I can do whatever I want. I'll get him, too. <laughs> With Pinchy. <laughs> Ouch, Pinchy! I hate it when you do that! Way ahead of you, Douglas. Well, let's just say I thought he could use a relaxing time at the beach. No. Goodness, the current very well may take those trucks out to sea. I'll alert the Coast Guard. Ahoy! Ten cents! What do you think you're doing? First, it is pronounced Valar Morgulis. Second, you brought her in to the wrong birth. Then why did you bring her into birth nine? I am always serious when it comes to handling my work, Ten Cents. <sighs> Let's just get her out on the double. A naval tramper is meant to be docking here soon. That would never suit his grace. You impertinent scallywags. Whatever are you engines coming to? Well, you'd better mind, unless you want to end up like Smudger. Smudger was a show-off. He rode roughly and would often come off the rails. I warned him to be careful, but he took no notice. We do hear, I said, but Smudger just laughed. Until one day, Manager said he was going to make him useful at last. Smudger stopped laughing then. He turned him into a generator. He's still out there behind our shed. He'll never move again. I'm a plain blunt engine. I speak as I find. Donald should be Donald's and not rabbit holes. This railway is no good at all. Aren't you gonna polish me too? It isn't fair. Peter Sand gets a special funnel. Sir Handel gets special wheels. Passengers get ice cream, and I'm not even polished. Hello, I'm Eric. You must be Thomas. Real nice to meet you. All the time, and always on time. Thanks, I made that up. Hello, I'm Fergus. I'm in charge of the cement works here on Sodor. Do it right. Not to worry, we'll sort it out. Not like that. Do it right. You don't know the rules. 
Maybe not as experienced as you, Stephen, but I am considerably younger. <laughs> and where on earth have you two been? I've been left here on my own doing everything. Out of there, Thomas. Now you look like one of the finest little engines I've ever seen. Those freight cars are way too heavy for you. Let me take them for you. I'd be happy to help. Out of the way, Toby. Hello, Napford. Here's James. Hey, Emily. Huh. <laughs> I can't help being fast, Emily. Oh. Yes, I remember all that, but I got rid of my wooden brake blocks, and I was painted red. So, good things came out of that accident, and I don't have brake problems anymore. I have to brake sharply sometimes, Emily. I'm the fastest red engine on Sodor. Ha! Rosie's not fast, and she's not red either. She's more of a mauve lilac. Rosie is red? Uh, like red red? Like me red? James red? Splendid red? Are you teasing me? Thomas? Thomas? Thomas! I must be careful. I must be careful. I must be careful. Sorry. I didn't see you there. You're smaller than you look. Our operators. They're in charge of safety. They're definitely the most important. It's not fair. It's not fair. That's all right. But I'm glad it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Hello. Thank you. The brass band is arriving at Brendam Docks. Barrow, the lift bridge malfunctioned, so I had to spend the night on the mainland. Why would I do that? Well, what's wrong with that? Hang about. Didn't Colin mention helping out a nor'easter? That's your reason? I shouldn't have helped him because he's old? Brilliant logic, Diesel. Oh, thank you, sir. Shall I be away long? Are these my cars? The more the merrier. I will and thank you for a lovely day. I do hope I can come back again. Thank you for the warning. Hello, Percy. How are things? Well, why not have a few fast spins on the turntable? You'll like that. Cheer up, Percy. You'll soon know more about cars than any other engine. That'll be exciting. <laughs>